See that little smudge? That's several hundred pieces of what I think might be flower gold. But I'm not sure. I've done a lot of research online trying to find a good definition for flower gold, and it turns out there isn't one, or rather there's too many. It seems like almost every prospector has his or her own definition of what flower gold is, how small a particle of gold has to be to be considered flower gold. That's what this video is going to be about, trying to nail down what a reasonable definition for flower gold is. But before we get started, let's take a closer look. Okay, that's a little better. Starting at uh, 9 o'clock, we have a uh, single grain of rice. At 12 o'clock is the end of a standard toothpick. At 3 o'clock is a single grain of salt. And down around 6 is a standard pin. This will give you some idea of the scale of size of the flower gold. Let's look at some of the definitions common for flower gold. Merriam-Webster defines flower gold as very fine gold that floats. Well, that's not much good because I've seen uh, uh, plus 20 pieces of gold floating around. That's more a function of how clean the water is and how much oil is on the gold, so that's no good. Um, Goldgold.com defines uh, the following, that um, flower gold is, or dust, is anything finer than 40 mesh. So a minus 40 mesh or below, they consider flower gold. Uh, let's see, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, don't ask me why agriculture, defines it as anything less than half a millimeter in diameter, and it takes about 40,000 bits that small to equal a single troy ounce. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and again, I wonder how they got into the act, says that flower gold is anything under 400 mesh and that it takes up to 8 million of them to make a single troy ounce. So uh, who's right? Well, they all are and nobody is. Uh, the fact is, flower gold is one of these subjective terms that never has been and probably never will be exactly defined. Let's take an even closer look with a better scale to get an idea of the sizes and the ranges of flower gold and then I'll give you my definition of what I think flower gold is. Okay, now we're really getting in close. Uh, to get this uh, image I had to use a special 1.5x macro lens. Uh, I'm about uh, three inches from the uh, the gold and zoomed in as far as I can. A very difficult shot to get. But starting from the left, we have a 20 mesh piece of gold. Next over is 30 mesh. Then we have our grain of salt, which is just slightly bigger than 50 mesh. The uh, piece of gold just to the right of the grain of uh, salt is a 50 mesh. Next we have a 70 mesh. And then we have three pieces which start at 100 mesh. The middle of the three is probably a 150 mesh. And the one on the far right, the smallest one, is a 200 mesh piece of gold. That piece of gold is so small that if you have 20-20 vision and you're looking at it on a piece of black paper just 12 inches away, you can't see it. It is too small. You need a uh, magnifying lens to be able to spot that. That's how small that is. So this gives you an idea of the range. Now for my definition of what flower gold is. I take a very pragmatic approach, which is if it is too small, to pick up with micro tweezers, that is, those are tweezers designed for use with a microscope. It is, it cannot be considered a picker, therefore it has to be something smaller, which I call flower gold. This works out to be something around a, a 90 mesh. Sometimes I can pick up pieces of 100 mesh with my, uh, my tweezers. Uh, usually I give up around uh, a minus 70 mesh and just use the snuffer bottle. Anyways, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a definitive answer for what size of gold flower gold is. 
but like I said, there probably never will be one. For myself, a good working solution is if you can't pick it up with tweezers, it's flower gold. So I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.